One of the major concerns for health workers during the COVID-19 crisis has been the shortage of personal protective equipment. It's seen fashion and textiles students and teachers from RMIT team up with the CSIRO to create something they hope will be useful on the front lines. Iskander Razak reports. It may look old fashioned, but this is cutting edge for a world in crisis. This is what we call a rapid response project. <laughs> the sudden high demand for personal protective equipment and the global lockdown means Australia has a shortage. Traditionally, the masks that we've seen the medical practitioners wearing are made from a man-made material, uh, petrochemicals, uh, and they're all imported materials. But this non-woven wool blend is Australian made and as part of a federal government initiative, the RMIT Fashion and Textile School was called in for a special project. We never thought at this time, like studying for three years, we'll end up, you know, sewing surgical masks as part of our fourth year. A prototype was designed and refined, and in two days, a mini production line, which included social distancing rules, made a hundred of the prototype masks. It's not all about material. Health professionals say the average surgical mask, even the more higher end stuff, it can be uncomfortable, even painful to wear over time. And many can't be molded to fit properly to people's faces. So we looked at the movement of the mouth and tried to design around that and allow the mask to expand and contract in a way that didn't break the seal. The RMIT team is also excited about what this might mean for local manufacturing. What's really nice about this is that we're using um, you know, wool off the sheep's back. I know at the moment there's a lot of conversations about make Australia make again. This is the final prototype and it now goes through more strenuous trials to see if it actually works. But even if unsuccessful, it's an example of Australian ingenuity in adversity. Iskandar Razak, ABC News, Melbourne.